You think it's going to be any good? Mm-hmm. Coho salmon? You ever had a coho salmon? Not a coho, but I've had a salmon before. What's up guys this is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and uh, yes we are doing a salmon clean and cook video it, it I may be stretching it a little bit on the catch part it depends Houston can I throw this fish up in there and let you catch it No. then it would be a catch clean and cook if we did so we got a box of fish in the mail <laughs> a couple weeks ago Houston and I and uh, my wife and daughter all went to Michigan. We were invited up there to go salmon fishing with Luke, the MI gardener. I've been calling him MI fisherman. And uh, the goal was two separate fishing trips. One day we were going to go in the rivers and try to catch king salmon. And then we had a charter captain taking us out the next day in Lake Michigan in the Great Lakes for coho salmon. Well, after two days of fishing, how many fish did you catch? You mean you? No, how many fish did you catch? We caught none altogether. You caught one crawfish, that was it, huh? Yeah, that's the only thing. One little crawdad, you couldn't even bring him home. And so, he's, we didn't even know that he was going to send one to us, and he sent us a huge salmon from the fish market. So, Luke, <laughs> I told Luke I was wanting to do two separate videos, and uh, it didn't work out. We, we managed to put together one video. We had a great time, so much fun. If you missed that video, go check it out. Um, we had a great trip. Unfortunately, we didn't get to bring home any salmon, and I think Luke got to feeling bad, and uh, he sent us a package in the mail, and uh, it's from Pike Place Fish Market. I know nothing about that, and obviously it's from Washington, not Michigan, so I don't know if these are wild-caught salmon or not, but uh, look at this. this. This is just the kind of guy Luke is. So he sent this to us, and here's a little little note with it. It says, "Sorry, I couldn't put you on the fish, but hopefully this gets you two videos worth." Here's a here is great friendships. God knew exactly what He was doing when He made y'all. From Mi Fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> so I had got an email the other day from this company, and I thought, well, He must be sending us like some candy or something because it was Gold Belly from on the on the email. So um, we're gonna tear this open. See what kind of fish we got in the mail, Houston. Yeah. So how about we tear this box open? Oh, well, that was some excitement right there. So how about we tear this box open? Well, what do you got in your hand? A tomato. I dare you to eat it. No, you. <laughs> I hate tomatoes. <laughs> Why are you carrying around a tomato then? Because I went to the garden and then picked this and I didn't have time to pick anything else. And then you said come up here and then I came up here and then we had to go do all that stuff, so. I don't know why. So go ahead and eat that anything. tomato, and then we'll tear into this fish box. No. Oh, all right. So let's see what all Luke sent us here. Uh, so this fish came in like a, it's in a cooler, it's a styrofoam cooler, and ice packs. And according to the packing slip, he sent um, one whole king salmon and one pound of coho salmon. It's already a fillet. So we've got a whole. <laughs> a whole bunch. I mean, a whole king salmon in this bag, I presume. I... Smells like fish. Well, it should, Houston. So, there's the coho salmon fillet. Mm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yep, I can't wait to try this stuff, buddy. Then, I've never filleted a salmon. But look at all the ice packs. There's like four or five big ice packs. They, they ship it frozen, but there is a whole hey, salmon in here. Earl. Earl, Earl just wants a bite. He don't want the whole thing. So what do you say we take this thing in the house and get it filleted up, yeah. processed? Because 
There's like several meals worth right here, so. Hey, how about we do it outside so we don't mess up the house? Because it could make the house smell terrible. You sound like your mom. No, I don't. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fillet this fish up outside. Now this, this video has nothing to do with Pike's, pay, Pike's Place Fish, the website or anything. I, I have no affiliation with them. This is strictly just based off of uh, Luke, the MI Gardener, sending us a gift. So I'm gonna fillet him up out here on the patio just because this guy's so worried about the smell. He's afraid mom's gonna get mad. She will. You're trying to keep me out of trouble, huh? Yeah, I'm trying to be nice. So the fillet knife I'm going to be use, I actually got these in the mail a while back from a company called Outrigger Outdoors. And uh, this is the first chance I've had to use them. This one's actually not a fillet knife. This is like a, deer. like a, eh, yeah, like a, uh, a boning knife or something for, for deer or, or larger game. But they sent the, uh, the fillet knife and I haven't got to use this just yet. Typically you guys see me use an electric fillet knife, but on a big fish like this, and something I'm not familiar with. I've never filleted a salmon before. I'm gonna use a, uh, a good um, fixed blade knife instead of an electric fillet knife. But uh, according to the guys from Outrigger, I'll tell you more about them in a little bit. They sent us something else I wanna show you later in the video. And I'll tell you how we, they actually got in contact with us. But uh, they told me that every one of these fillet knives comes hand sharpened from the factory. I don't know, we'll see, check them out. All right, so like I said, I'm totally new to filleting salmon. I've never filleted a salmon like this. This is a king salmon like we were actually trying to catch. This is what we were hoping to catch when we were in uh, Michigan. But uh, I've watched several videos, and it can't be too much different than any other fish other than you've got collars on them here. Um, most of our freshwater fish around here don't have any kind of collar, so we're going to go behind this fin and try to save that collar. Well, this is a, like I said, this is a large fish. And uh, we're trying to save as much meat as we possibly can. So we want to do a good job in trying to uh, preserve that meat. So I'm going to go in the backbone here, go straight in and start peeling this meat off the backbone. Nice and slow, go down the ribs. Well, this knife is sharp. I apologize I don't have a cameraman here so you're just gonna have to work with me moving the camera around a little bit but all right got back to that anal fin I think we can just stay above the backbone go through follow that backbone all the way down to the end of the tail okay look at that red meat so if we can peel it off the backbone here there is a little bit of a cut into the, the fillet a little bit but look at the size of that salmon fillet I mean that's probably probably two pounds now there is some some pin bones in here I'll have to take and uh, probably take a pair of pair of tweezers just from what I watched online on YouTube um, there's about a dozen or so pin bones look at that little bitty bone right there I'm not going to do it out here in the heat. I want to get this thing inside and get it cool, but those bones just slide right out of there. Kind of interesting. All right, one side down. I'm just going to flip him over and reverse and do the same thing. Start up here on the head. Now, we will just make a cut. We're just going to go in and try to find that backbone. I think I'll just stick with what I know and try not to uh, butcher it too bad. You can hear those ribs popping though. Means we're staying right on the bone. There's our other filet. It's gonna have those pin bones. There's one right there actually. We'll have pin bones right all the way to right here. And they literally just pop out. So I don't wanna leave those in. We'll get those out in the house though. All right, so I'm going to move inside. I got both fillets off the fish, and I did save that one little small piece that I kind of left on the rib cage. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clean these up, and I think what we'll do is stake them, make serving size portions, and then uh, I'm going to vacuum seal them. 
All right, I got all the pin bones out. We're just going to portion this up into, you know, serving size portions. There's dad size, you know, and you can do like mom size. We're just going to leave the skin on. And then we'll cook these on the grill with the skin on. I got my my little vacuum sealer out, but this was these are some pre-made packets. Usually this stuff comes on a roll and you just cut off how much you need, seal the bottom, but uh, the Outrigger Outdoors sent about, I don't know, half a dozen pre-made packets. So we're just gonna slide a few of these salmon steaks down in these bags and then we'll get them vacuum sealed up and uh, ready to go in the freezer because obviously we're not gonna be able to eat this whole fish all in one meal. All right, let's just put this down in the tray here. I've not used this brand before, so trying this out for the first time. It just locks down on there. Okay, so let's see what the different modes are. Oh, it's even got a scale on it. I haven't read all the instructions on this thing just yet, so we're learning as we go, but all right, we want to do vacuum and seal. Done. That's all there was to it. Now our little fillets. There's the skin side and the meat side and they're vacuum sealed and ready to go. I'm just going to do some of these in just one large portion because my wife and I are home a lot by herself during the day while the kids are at school. So I want to do some just for she and I. Alright, so here we go. Vacuum and seal. salmon all cut up and in our vacuum sealer bags let me show you something else that's really cool about this this little vacuum sealer so I told you a while ago it had a scale on there and uh, it's kind of neat so this screws into the bottom you take it off and you can screw it right into the top there's a little screw hole and you've got a platform for your scale just like that we're gonna set this to ounces pounds and ounces set our one fillet on there and that fillet is 15 ounces so just under a pound 15 ounces now one of our bigger packets like this is the family pack i'm gonna put that one on there 25 ounces let me switch through this and get it on pounds because you know we're americans we work we work in pounds so there we go pounds all right so one and a half pounds of fresh salmon fillet. So that should be perfect for a meal. This one's a little bit bigger. 1.8 pounds. And then this one's probably, I would say just under a pound. Yep, 0.98. Almost five pounds of fresh salmon off that one king salmon fish. And like I said, I am not an expert. Don't use this as a how-to guide on how to fillet a salmon specifically. But I think uh, putting some of this up in vacuum sealer bags, we'll get it in the freezer, is gonna preserve it for a long time. And we've got that one coho salmon fillet out there. That's one pound, a one pound fillet. That's what we're gonna do for the cooking portion of this. Not a salmon cooking expert, but I think we'll probably season it up and throw it on the grill and see what it tastes like. So like I said earlier, Outrigger Outdoors did send us this vacuum sealer and the fillet knife and the boning knife super sharp i'm pretty impressed with it um, we'll have to use it some more like i said i'm typically an electric fillet knife guy but uh let me tell you a story about how we got <laughs> in contact with them so back uh a couple months ago when we were in florida when we went lobstering with uh donovan tate captain donovan um we've gone down and done a lot of bow fishing charters with donovan he runs an awesome charter service we, I was always talking, trying to talk him into starting 
a YouTube channel because he does so many cool things. And uh, he finally has done that. And I told you guys once he did and got a few videos out there, I would, I would uh, tell you about what their channel is and what it's called. But it's called Team Tate Outdoors. And uh, they're doing all kinds of stuff, still learning, still learning the ropes on YouTube. But Outrigger Outdoors is one of the sponsors for Donovan's Guide Service. And after we were down there, he was talking to his buddy that, run, that owns and runs Outrigger Outdoors. And they called us up and said, hey, we'd love to work with you. And they do all kinds of different stuff. They got a lot of uh, bow fishing and um, gigging stuff for flounder gigging and things. But one of their super popular things is this vacuum sealer and those fillet knives so i'll leave a link to their website they gave me a little coupon code just use arms you can save a little bit of money at checkout if you find something on there you're interested in um outrigger outdoors like i said i'll leave a link to them but uh yeah and team tate outdoors be sure to go check out team tate outdoors um donovan is such a good friend of ours he's such a cool guy and uh he he does at, when it comes to guides and outfitters man there's guys that go out there and they just it's just like a job and they make a living and then there's guys that have a passion for it and donovan's going to do everything in his power to make sure everyone on his boat has a good time and uh learn something along the way he's an incredible guy so go check him out All right, well, it's time to get our salmon on the grill. I got those twice baked potatoes started. Basically, we just had baked potatoes last night. Those were left over. I cut them in half, scooped all that out, and in a bowl, add a little bit of ranch dressing, some butter, sour cream, salt, pepper. Wish I had some bacon bits. Didn't have any bacon bits. Mix it all up, put it back in those potatoes, and we're twice baking them. Then we have our one pound coho salmon filet. Still has the skin on. Um, still in the plastic, just like it was shipped to us. But uh, it's gonna be a real simple recipe. All I'm gonna do, take it out of plastic, rinse it off just a little bit probably, and uh, coat it up with some olive oil and a little bit of Everglades fish and chicken and this Silver Rocket Liftoff seasoning, which is from the company that makes this grill, the Silver Rocket Grill Company. Hey, fellas. I'm trying to have a conversation with my friends here. Can y'all keep it down just a little bit? That smells fishy now. Look at that filet. Isn't that beautiful? I wish I had a cedar board to cook this on, like a cedar plank, but we're just gonna make do with some aluminum foil. I think a cedar plank would do this some, <laughs> some really good justice in cooking this, this salmon up. Potatoes are definitely hot. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get those off of there because I'm just gonna set this salmon on there tray and all and this thing's really only going to take probably 12 to 15 minutes to cook we're going to run it up there about 500 degrees and uh we don't want to overdo that salmon we should be getting pretty close Look at that. Mm. Yeah, we're getting close. You think it's gonna be any good? Mm-hmm. Coho salmon? You ever had a coho salmon? Not a lot of coho, but I've had a salmon before. So typically in Oklahoma, growing up, at least for me as a kid, and I'm sure it was this way for DJ too, when, when your parents said you were having salmon for supper, <laughs> what did that mean? It meant out of the can. It's right. It meant we were having salmon patties. Salmon patties. Out of a can. Yeah. And uh, 
I, I don't think I ever had fresh salmon or even store bought, grocery store bought, which is probably farm raised salmon yeah. until after oh. we were married. Yeah, I didn't either. I had tilapia once. Once. Tilapia is not a fancy no, fish. No, but I, but like at the restaurant that we were at, that was the fancy fish. Yeah. <laughs> and so I huh. had tilapia. Yeah. So Oklahoma, growing up for us anyways, we weren't accustomed to fresh salmon. No. Now this was, you know, from a fish market. So I'm not 100% positive this was wild caught. I'd have to do some research, but uh, I bet it's better than salmon patties. I bet it is. Although, I mean, don't knock those, but... Hey, I like salmon patties. Yeah. But, but I'm just saying, this is probably better. Yes, I agree. Oh, looks delicious, Dad. I hope it is delicious. All right, Houston. Oh. Fresh salmon, catch, clean, and cook straight out of the creek, right? No. Well, that's where the thumbnail was at. Yeah, but it was from whatever it's called. I it was from the mail, wasn't it? Yeah. But I bet you it tastes good. Yeah. You have to eat all your broccoli first, though. Um, no. All right, Mom. we got to have your official taste test because everybody knows. Geez, Houston, did you just crack open a beer? Yeah. That's what it <laughs> sounded like over there. Mmm. <laughs> Very good. You like it? Mm-hmm. Emily's face isn't telling me a whole lot down there. I don't know what she's got to say trying, about it. I'm just picking through the, the skin. That's why I was, Yeah. You don't have any skin on there. I know. I was... She said, I'm picking through the skin. Well, and no, Mom said, you don't have any skin on there. And she off. said, I know. I know. Teenagers know everything. Yeah. All right, Houston. Ketchup. Ketchup on salmon? Really? It's because you're from Oklahoma and you have no idea how to eat salmon. I mean... It's kind of true. Is it any good though? You like it? Yeah. I feel like it's less fishy, just fishy than just the regular salmon we've had. It's not. It's not near as fishy. Do you think it's as fishy? Then like store bought, like we mm -hmm. get from the little vacuum packs at mm -hmm. Walmart. Yeah. Well, oh, that's yeah. good. I'm glad. It's yeah. not near as fishy. Yeah. Maybe that's just the coho though. The the, um, the other coho I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I don't know the difference in coho and king salmon at all. Uh, maybe Bear could help us. Could you tell us the difference in coho and king salmon? But I will say this. When I took it out of that package, um, it had the strongest fish smell you could ever imagine. So I was like, uh, Bear, buddy, you, you got to wait. Back up just a little bit, okay? Back up, Bear. I was a little worried what my wife was going to say. Um based off the smell when I took it out of the package. Well, when I came out hey, of the hang on. I'm having a hard time filming because this guy. But uh, when you came in the house, what? When I came in the house yesterday. Hang on. Should I should have said yesterday. She just probably shouldn't have said yesterday. Okay. So when I came in the house, the house smelled really fishy. Yeah. Houston made me fillet the fish outside. That was all, that was all on him. Yeah, but it was like 90 degrees and I wasn't going to leave that fillet exposed to the sun out here as long as it was taking me to process everything and cut it all up and get it vacuum sealed so i did take the fillets in after i filleted it yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah it had a pretty strong fishy smell so mm -hmm. anyways i'm gonna eat okay Hold uh on. we'll say the prayer you will. okay Father, we come to you this evening. We just thank you for this food. We thank you for, for great friendships um, like Luke. We, we just really appreciate the, that you put people in our life that, that mean so much to us. And somebody that takes the time to, to think about us and send us a gift like this is just it's incredible. So we just ask that you bless this food and the nourishment of our body. We love you in Jesus Christ. In his name we pray. Amen. 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 Oh, who takes Donovan? I need a sauce or salmon. What do I do? It's too funny because I just gave Donovan a shout out on this video before you got home. You did? Huh? Talking about his channel. Oh yeah, y'all should go subscribe to him because he does really good on bow fishing stuff. <laughs> Can't look right now, but there's a deer right behind you, DJ. When I say right behind, I mean like, like 50 yards. Well, there's some more. 
Yeah, they're trying to come into the feeder that I put in the backyard, but uh, they're like, what in the world are all these people doing outside on the patio? It's finally not 4,000 degrees when we eat out here. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's the truth. I kind of feel like Jimmy Houston. <laughs> <coughs> Bella, it'd be nice to make a video without you panting in the background all the time. So I think that's going to wrap it up for us. We're going to sit here and finish up our supper here on the patio. And uh, here, why, why do you keep doing this? You little attention hound. Is that what the deal is? Can I finish talking about what I'm talking about? Or are you just going to keep getting under my arm? The only time he gets under my arm like this, the only time, is when I have the camera in my hand. I promise. So uh, be sure... Go check out M.I. Gardener. Huge thank you to Luke from M.I. Gardener. Bear, go on, for uh, sending us these fresh salmon. It's going to make several meals for us. And uh, don't forget, Captain Donovan. Team Tate Outdoors on YouTube. Go check them out. They're, they're new. They just have a few subscribers, but Donovan's going to be putting out a lot of cool videos. I think he's got 10 or 12 videos out right now, but we've gone down and done so many trips with him. And, uh, That's my favorite. I thought I was your favorite. Okay, well, he can be number two, but he's he's like my, my top fave fisherman guy. I was about to say... What about Jimmy? Um, uh, <laughs> we're putting mom in a pickle here. Yeah, well, Jimmy's Anyways. not in Florida, so... Okay, so we're narrowing it down. Donovan's DJ's top favorite fishing guide in Florida. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's also retired army vet slash chef. 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 Yeah. Anyways, go check out Team Tate Outdoors, and uh, we'd appreciate it. Uh, I know they would really appreciate it. He's working hard to grow a YouTube channel, and we finally talked him into starting one. He does so many cool adventures and does a lot a lot of interesting stuff in South Florida. So, anyways, guys, we're going to wrap it up here and finish our dinner watching the deer at the feeder. I think there's what, is there four or five now yeah. made it up to the feeder. So, mm -hmm. we're going to enjoy our evening out here on the patio. Guys, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Peace.